Hello, my name is Rohit and today we'll be looking at how to install Hortonworks Hadoop distribution on AWS. For doing this, we'll be using the following stack. Of course, we'll be using Hortonworks Hadoop, but we're going to use Apache Ambari toolkit to install that on Amazon EC2. The way Ambari works is Ambari has an Ambari server and it installs Ambari agents on various nodes and then Ambari controls these Ambari agents to install Hadoop services on these various, various nodes. Ambari is also capable of monitoring the health of Hadoop cluster. And you'll see how easy it is to set up and use. So before we begin, we will be going to our Amazon AWS account and doing some prerequisites. The first thing is we'll be creating a a demo key. This key is required to basically SSH into um, EC2 instances. So we're going to make sure that we keep this demo key handy. So we have the demo key inside our showcase folder and we'll be using it after some time. Next, I'm going to keep the security configurations uh, fairly simple. I'm going to say this is an open security thing. This is, of course, uh, not suitable for uh, production deployments, but just to make things simple, I'm going to keep uh, all, I'm going to keep SSH open, and I'm going to keep TCP IP all communications open. I say access it from any IP for now. But note, this means that your machines are open uh, to the world and there could be denial of service attacks. So not meant for production, but for demo, we can just go ahead with this. So having done that, it comes to launching the first instance. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take an Red Hat Community AMI instance. We're going to launch it. We're going to make some changes in that, namely just changes around uh, network time protocol and uh, IP table settings. Once we do that, we're going to take a snapshot and we're going to create a base CMI. Then we're going to use the base CMI to launch the six uh, nodes which you're going to use to install Haroop. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say launch instance and I'm going to look for Red Hat 6.5. And there it is. I select this. I'll use a M1 large for my case. Everything looks okay over here. Storage 10 GB is good enough for now. I'm going to target Ambari server because this is my Ambari server. In this case, I'm going to use the existing uh, security group which is open just to make sure nothing comes in our way and then we're going to launch this. And here I acknowledge that we're going to use demo key to access this machine. So let's go ahead and wait for this instance to come up. Looks like this instance is up. So what we're going to do is we will try to do a SSH into this. So I'm going to say HSS minus I. But before I proceed ahead, I need to do one thing. I will change the permissions of my demo PM. So SSH won't complain that it's too open and the world can see that. So only I can see it. So it's safe, safe. And then I'll do Last for fingerprint, I say yes, and I'm inside the machine. The next thing which I want to do is actually turn on the network time protocol. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn off uh, the IP tables. 
and I'll also go and so this way we just turning the configuration off we can actually turn off the IP table service which is running right now and we will start the services So there, we are done with this. So we'll exit from this. What we'll do next is we have made the necessary configuration changes on our machine. So we're gonna say right click, and we're gonna say create image. And I'll say this is a ideal body agent image. No, a little bit. So I'll wait for this image to come up over here. So now this is uh, available for us. So we're gonna focus on the next step. So the next step is we're gonna copy the SSH key which we got on our local machine to the Ambari server machine and why are we doing that because that SSH key enables us to log into another uh, any other machine because when you launch another EC2 instance you're going to launch it using the SSH key which we just use to SSH into the Ambari server so let's do that so we, what you're going to do next is I'm just going to copy And then we're gonna do SSH like we done before. And you'll see that file is copied over here. We will move this thing to a particular location. And then we're done with this step. Next, we're gonna launch six instances using the base image. And once we launch all these six instances using the base image, we'll be recording the private DNS names for later step. So let's go ahead. It's a launch over here. We'll again, choose the M1 launch. We will say, Six instances, storage is same. We'll say Ambari agent, and we will use a default security group, which is open, so everything just goes smoothly now. And we're gonna say launch, and we're gonna use the demo key itself to launch. So we will wait for these things to come up. So these instances have come up. We're going to start recording the private DNS names. One, one. Of all the machines which died on body agent. The reason we record all these things is we need to tell our body server which on machines to install the body agent on, and then the body server will tell these agents to install various help services which we configure. So we recorded all the six. So that step is done. So let's go to the next step. The next step is to actually install the body server on the Ambari server EC2 machine. So let's proceed. We are still logged into the machine. What we're going to do is, since we're using yum, we're going to go into the yum 
repository directory and then we're gonna do a wget of uh, the Amari server repository and now what you're going to do is you're going to simply do sudo wget of the request repo and we have it over here next we're simply going to install uh, body packages using yum So then installing the body package. Next we'll install the Ambari. We'll do the Ambari server setup. You know say yes. You can install JDK 1.7 and no to advanced database configuration. This will now install Postgres database because it internally keeps track of what services are installed, what are running, history, etc. etc. So this takes a while. And we're done with the setup. The last step to starting our is just to actually instruct the server to start. Now once the server starts, all you have to do is take the public DNS IP, go over here, type in port 8080 and launch this. This is the Ambari server, you're going to log in using admin and admin, you're going to say Hortonworks cluster, HTTP 2.1 and now we're going to take these names which we had earlier. Putting it over here, we will be taking the pen file which we had earlier. Very important instead of root, we're going to say easy to user because that's the user in this case. And what Ambari is doing, Ambari server is doing right now, is it's accessing all these machines and it's trying to install the Ambari server, uh, Ambari agent on all these machines. So let's wait for a while, while this. You've seen that it's almost done. The Ambari server has made connections with the Ambari agent nodes and the Ambari agent nodes is the one where you're gonna install the Haroop services. And this is what you do over here. You choose which Haroop services do you want. So I'm gonna leave around some services which I'm not really interested in. And I'll just go ahead with these services. Now once I go with these services, it will kind of choose which servers will be the agent, which servers will be the uh, 
sleeves and everything. So I'm going with the default thing, but you can very well choose what kind of topology you want. And then looks like it's choosing the first three things as masters, and that's why it's not mentioned put in data nodes and name nodes. But what I would like to do is I would like to put the clients on all the nodes. I don't know which nodes are we going into. So or I'll just choose these three nodes since these are the server nodes. Uh, let's go with all. Now, the next step is for these things to work, we'll actually have to give some data input. For example, in this case, we had to give the hive password. In case of Uzi, again, we had to give a password for Uzi. I choose the same password. And I'm just being lazy and typing the same things again. And I'm gonna just put uh, a dummy email address. And I'm gonna say deploy. And we are actually, and then this step, we actually just took care of the step where we said which services and which machine. And this thing takes a while, it could take around 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna pause this recording and come back over here when we have made significant progress. You will see we have made some progress over here. And this, and we'll keep on observing what all things are being installed. So you're almost done. And if you go ahead, then it's going to show us a summary, and then we're going to go into the body monitoring tool. That's the summary which tells which nodes are uh, which master service are installed on which uh, nodes. And then we are now going to look at the dashboard. This is the dashboard of Ambari. It's really neat. It tells you uh, the co complete help to system, what is the disk usage, um, which data nodes are live, and many such things. If you go to things like HDFS, and if you go over here, it can show you a number of things. For example, if you go to map reduce, you can also launch a job history server and things like that. So it's pretty neat. Uh, and you can also take service actions like um, stop or check everything. Moreover, you can install more services or you can stop them all or you can hit them up again. So it's pretty nice. So do try this, uh, Ambari. Uh, Apache Ambari, it's from Hortonworks, it's open source, and it's a great tool to quickly install Hortonworks uh, cluster on premise and on EC2. Thank you so much.